Hey what's up everybody Andrew here and today we're taking a look at the ASUS E403SA. This is a 14 inch notebook from ASUS all new for 2016. This is the next step up from the ASUS VivoBook E200 that I recently reviewed so if you want more power be sure to take a look at this model. Without further ado let's go ahead and break down the specs. You're getting an Intel Pentium N3700, 4 gigs of RAM, 14 inch Full HD panel, 128 gigabyte EMC flash storage and the retail price is $399 US. This notebook takes the cake for one of the cleanest looking notebooks for under $400. On the outside you got this beautiful aluminum finish that just looks gorgeous. And the bottom side is made out of plastic. I really wish they would have stuck aluminum here but maybe that's asking for too much. The weight comes in at 3.19 pounds and its thickest point is 0.70 inches. Let's get another quick shot of that beautiful aluminum. Whew. The interior also features the aluminum finish as well as a black keyboard and a black border around the panel. In terms of build quality, ASUS also did an excellent job. Take a look here as there is very minimal flex. On the exterior, the middle section of the aluminum does flex a little more than I would like, but it's not to a point where I'm going to be concerned. Overall, ASUS did an excellent job for under 400 bucks. One of the minor annoyances on this notebook are these two plastic tabs here towards the top of the notebook. The reason ASUS put these two plastic tabs here is to give you a more comfortable typing experience, but just be warned these tabs can scratch your table or even ruin it. For your ports on the left side, you got your charging port, full size HDMI, USB 3, USB Type C, and a headset microphone jack combo. On the right side, you got an SD card reader, USB 2, and a Kensington security lock slot. This notebook is rocking the Intel Pentium N3700, which is a quad core chip clocked at 1.6 GHz, but can boost up to 2.4 GHz. This CPU is perfectly fine for light duty productivity work like browsing the web, YouTube and Netflix, and word processing. The large buttonless trackpad is spacious and the surface feels pretty good. Tracking and two finger scrolling were pretty smooth. However, I did encounter some issues with multi-touch, it was just a little bit laggy and choppy. Now the keyboard is pretty comfortable to type on, I mean it comes in at 1.6mm, that's pretty good compared to the XPS 13 which comes in at 1.3mm. Overall this is a pretty solid keyboard for under 400 bucks. The only con here is this is not a backlit keyboard. This notebook is rocking a 14 inch TN panel with a resolution of 1920 by 1080. The color accuracy is poor, just like the other sub $200 notebooks, but this one gets you the higher res panel. And like I said, this is a TN panel, so the view angles are not going to be that great, so if you consume a lot of multimedia, you might want to step up to an IPS model laptop. Since this is a low powered CPU chip, this chip does not require fan, therefore this notebook runs whisper quiet. Here's a quick test of Minecraft running on this notebook. Remember this notebook runs an Intel Pentium N3700, which is a quad core SLC chip. I've been averaging around 35 to 42 frames per second, and this is a big improvement over the N3050, which is found on the HP Stream 11. The two bottom facing speakers actually sound pretty good, and they are powered by Sonic Master. The lows and mids are well balanced, and the overall sound quality is just above average. This notebook features a 128GB eMMC drive, which is going to be slower than a traditional solid state drive, especially on the right speeds. The battery life on this notebook has been impressive. This Pentium chip just sips on that juice. I've been getting anywhere from 9 to 12 hours with mixed usage like browsing the web, word processing, and watching some YouTube clips. This notebook's rocking the same 480p webcam found on Apple's $1300 MacBook. Go figure. So let's get to the closing thoughts of the ASUS VivoBook E403SA. Compared to the sub $200 notebooks like the HP Stream 11, Lenovo 100S, ASUS VivoBook E200, and the Dell Inspiron 11 3000, this notebook is going to give you more power and capabilities. Number one, you're getting a bigger 14 inch Full HD panel compared to the 11.6 inch HD panels found on the other ones. Number two, you're getting 4 gigs of RAM compared to two. That can make a big difference in many applications. Number 3, you're getting a much more powerful Intel Pentium N3700 CPU, which features 4 cores. Number 4, you're getting much more storage, you're getting 128 gigs compared to 32 gigs. And number 5, you're getting ready for the future with a USB Type-C port, which should be mainstream by 2017. And unfortunately, we're still stuck with the 480p webcam on this model. Alright guys, this completes my full review on the ASUS VivoBook E403SA. If you guys enjoyed it, please be sure to smash on that like button, and don't forget to sub. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.